Hello, hello everybody. My name is Toby and today I'm just gonna show you if Facebook gaming is really dying. And the reason why I'm making this video is because back on August 30 or three weeks ago, maybe, um, Facebook announced that they will be shutting down their Facebook gaming mobile app or their standalone mobile app. And uh, some people got confused that. <laughs> Facebook gaming is shutting down, <laughs> but no, it's just the standalone app, not Facebook gaming themselves. And uh, I know I'm kind of late on this. Uh, it's actually, I was supposed to make a video three weeks ago of the about this, but I got burned out. So instead, I take a break and use that break to ask some uh, Facebook streamers who are still streaming on the platform and those who already left the platform about their opinion and experience of the platform. I actually did make a video about it. I accidentally closed it. Uh, about the standalone app and it was terrible. <laughs> Uh, my experience using the app was those who only have the app or who, those who only uses the app got notified that I am live using the f standalone Facebook gaming app <laughs> and it was terrible <laughs> that about like I only got like one to two viewers because like two viewers uh, two only uh, of my uh, followers are using the app <laughs> and about the why streamers are leaving or Facebook streamers are leaving. I already also, I already also made a video of it three months ago. So uh, uh, yeah. Uh, uh, this time I uh, the last time I asked uh, those streamers uh, only about five people I asked, but this time there are more and. And uh, there are n new uh, reasons than this one. And about this one, I, I thought they will fix this one, but <laughs> two months later, they they'll shut they're shutting it down. <laughs> so yeah, so I'm gonna use the stream chart for uh, reference on the number. I usually use the Streamlabs and Stream Hatchet uh, for reference but they upload or they post their numbers uh every three months uh, i mean three uh quarterly so their third quarter i'm still waiting on it and the good part of stream chart they use monthly numbers or they uh, they post monthly numbers now let's go to the reasons why they left facebook gaming and also their criticism of the platform so the first two are uh, music violations and customer service are my personal experience. <laughs> so uh, the first one, music violations. Um, even I am just using the in-game music. Uh, I still got copyright with that. Uh, another says that he's a uh, reason. Uh, he already muted his uh, gaming music or the 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 game's music rather. He still got copyright <laughs> uh, flag on Facebook gaming, and another uses stream beats. Stream beats uh, is a, a mu non copyrighted music a list of non copyrighted music that, that is available on Spotify and even on YouTube, created by Harris Heller, and even stream beats. Your you he is already using stream beats he got a uh, flag for copyright it's even written on the uh, uh on the list of a uh, music flag it says copyrighted music from stream beats and even harris heller himself got notified about the flag because some uh, he tweeted it out uh, n not uh, not Harry Seller, but the one who got flagged using Stream Beats, he tweeted it on uh, Twitter. Then even Harry Seller responded that 
uh, it wasn't good business for <laughs> uh, Streambeats and Facebook Gaming. But at least Streambeat works with YouTube, thankfully, and uh, of course Twitch. Uh, so next uh, is customer service. Uh, I have actually got banned twice. Uh, another the the first one is the uh, I posted uh, uh l let's say it was an old old uh, video I shared and uh it was flagged as offensive. I'm not gonna go in full detail. Uh, it was offensive, so I got banned for thirty days. Then I tried to contact someone. On Facebook to appeal it and there's no way at first for me to to appeal uh, to file an appeal so I uh, uh, t times pass and then I played with some kids online while streaming Fortnite and I got flagged there because uh, someone uh, dropped a bomb <laughs> and uh, it wasn't my fault. This time I was eager to appeal it. I went to even Facebook Business Center to file and no one responded. So the next day I just follow up my <laughs> my uh complaint and uh I got banned <laughs> for three days on Facebook Business Center. <laughs> so yeah, um there's really no one to contact there. And one who, a, a female streamer, stre uh, wants to stream on her, from her Xbox to, to Facebook. She just, uh, asked on the, uh, Facebook, I think, help center or business center. I, I don't know. <laughs> I, I forgot. <clears throat> And then, uh, even her, she followed up, and <laughs> she also got banned there. <laughs> so yeah. And the others, bad UI, bad user interface. I'm not gonna go also explain in full details, because I might get unwanted attention. <laughs> and all I can say is that, even I agree, uh, it's really confusing on uh, Facebook gaming's user interface now let's go with algorithm uh algorithm is confusing honestly i uh, i played warframe last time and the first first time i played warframe i wasn't like got recommended i did not boost uh another uh, i'll explain that later so the next day i played warframe again this time i got recommended in india for some reason <laughs> I, I think I think uh, Warframe is is popular in India, so yeah. Then the next day, uh, uh, I played Warframe again. Nothing happened, honestly. <laughs> uh, nothing. Uh, it was only the second day I got kind of recommended, and uh, it went back to nothing. <laughs> so, uh, so uh, all, uh, long story short, even from other streamers, I asked. The algorithm kind of fluctuated their uh, their Facebook pages reach. So yeah, uh, so the next is streaming isn't that great. Uh, one complained that he already set everything into high quality, but when he went live, uh, his video is still on SD <laughs> or the opposite of HD. <laughs> so um. I don't know how to answer that and another kind of complaint that uh he, someone told him that the stream should be or the dimension should be square I don't know uh, I don't know how that works also so that's what they say it wasn't that great uh, uh on the uh streaming end that's what I mean here then another says uh needs log in to uh, to watch streams because on Twitch and YouTube, even you don't have any, uh, or even you're not logged in, or you even you don't even have any account, you can still watch streams there, unless 
the unless the streams are private or, or not private uh, i have some privacy turned on uh that's where you need to log in but on facebook you need to log in entirely <laughs> then someone noticed that facebook gaming prioritized their their partners that's what i also noticed it's like the higher streamers or the the high tier streamers are the ones who are keeping the platform active those mid tier and low tier are are not prioritized so uh, uh facebook needs to fix that if they care for their low tier and mid tier streamers then boosting uh one female streamer says boosting is not uh recommended <laughs> uh she did try to promote or boosting or promote uh, promoting their uh, facebook page uh she did say she did spend a decent amount of uh, money to boost her page but she didn't get that much of a promotion uh it was, it was still a few number so uh, probably the the low uh the low amount that you pay for boosting you'll get low numbers but she did say uh it was higher it was enough of her budget and she wasn't happy probably uh probably have to pay more <laughs> So uh yeah but even I uh, I don't need to recommend it uh to boost but if you have the budget of course you, you uh do you what do what you want to uh, need to do something like that So this is uh now what I noticed and the number one I know uh I would say is piloting uh this is what my friend says about <clears throat> uh I, about I said to him that someone I think someone else is using the streamer's page and he he said it's piloting someone is piloting the the page <coughs> excuse me uh, it's because one female streamer I've been watching Mobile Legends back then uh she doesn't turn on her webcam anymore and as well as the microphone she's not talking she's not uh even responding on chat all she did was just to live stream uh, and play the game no no uh chat interactions no uh yeah no webcam so that's what my friend says someone else is using her page just to let the page be active that's what he said so that also i did notice to another female streamer playing mobile legends and sh uh she only have at least one overlay and it's her photo <laughs> it's just her photo then also no mic just gameplay with uh her photo on top and yeah no talking no chat interaction or no fan interaction so it's just playing a game so i i also uh so uh yes there's a suspicion that someone else is really using their uh their facebook page just to let their page be active so also right now i noticed streaming is no longer a priority for facebook gaming uh the recommended videos on my facebook wall is uh three minute videos of uh reaction videos three minute of top ten videos or animal rescue videos so uh all three minutes that is the uh i think that they prioritize vods now and that's um, the third one i noticed vods are more dominant now oh uh, well actually vods are really dominant on facebook ever since i did explain this to one stream on twitch once uh the number of vods views are higher than the are way higher and the stream stream uh uh the stream views are really far uh way below <laughs> so um 
So yeah, that's I think now vods are now the imp- what's important on Facebook gaming. So enough of that. Now let's go to the to the Facebook stat and we ignore September 2022 for now because it's still uh calculating and September haven't is not uh done yet. So let's go with the the August. So honestly, I am concerned about everything on Facebook gaming right now. They may have growth with peak viewers, 3% and game stream, but actually what's important is the average viewers and the watch hours. And when it comes to channels, the the channels doesn't seem to be a problem yet because it's still like a decent amount. It's still thousands. Uh the active channels last uh or active pages rather. It says channels here. So the active pages are 88,000 last month and the uh, average channels go live is 1,000 or 2,000. But the view hours is actually decreasing as well as the average viewers. So if we compare it now to for a month I mean for a month for uh since January then now to August uh it's like they lost 50% watch hours here on Facebook gaming that's really high and it is honestly concerning so uh just gen- I mean just February they lost 16% so uh watch hours then 13% then another 13% it's really decreasing so uh but still the watch hours is still in a million so that that's a uh, still good but again it's decreasing rapidly on facebook so i don't know and i also have some uh categories opened here <clears throat> when it comes to uh to uh viewers as you can see fortnite has 2k viewers uh another 2k with valorant these are popular game games by the way so i opened and so warzone has 4k dota 2 has almost 6k then genshin is it has 4k followers uh, 400k followers rather but only 68 viewers and Uh, there are a lot of streaming right now. Oh, this one's new. <laughs> the this one's new actually. It has one hundred sixteen viewers. But, but seriously, uh, another one Tower of Fantasy, another popular game with high followers but only few viewers. Then, Minecraft, uh, three million followers but five hundred viewers. Tom Clancy, uh, Rainbow Six Siege, only have three viewers, three streamers, three viewers, and Destiny 2 has also have a decent amount of viewers. Then Final Fantasy 14 has no one streaming right now. Then compare it to Twitch, it's six digits or four to six digits. So, um. Twitch is still dominant. I'll be honest. Facebook gaming, uh, if they are serious with their with their uh, streaming platform, they I honestly want to see them also have high amount of viewers and at least have uh look at all these games, <laughs> um, have some streamers there, and yeah. Uh, I mean, their streamers are leaving. <laughs> honestly, so yeah, they need to fix their platform. So uh, yeah, that's all I can say. But uh, Facebook gaming is not dying yet, <laughs> but it's just uh, it's just 
just the numbers but again they're serious they need to fix this so uh, if you guys are not happy with facebook gaming i still recommend provo d live for some reason some people want d live <laughs> and blemish since facebook i mean twitch has their drama right now and some streamers are moving to Glimish because Glimish is like the baby form of Mixer right now. So I'm also eager to stream there once they fix their mobile streaming because uh, I I stream on mobile on I mean I stream on uh, my PC on on YouTube, but on mobile I want it somewhere different. So for a uh, just to extend my uh, streaming interest. <laughs> so that's all for now. I think, I hope this uh, video is helpful. I, and I just rambled and shared some uh, a streamer's uh, opinions and also my experience and opinions on this video. So thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.